could use this for something. Perfect. That's okay, cool. we got it. What surprises students the most about engineering is that they actually do things related to it every day. Today we're going to review the engineering design process, actually making something using that process. So we're going to The curriculum is designed in such a way that there's no way for them to come away from it and not understand the role of an engineer. That they have to have creativity to understand the design process. What we're going to do today is just use some things that you would normally have in your environment to actually make a candy dispenser. If I start out by saying engineering, they shy away from it. Sometimes I have to say that they're going to do a project. As a team, you're going to make a, turn your ideas into reality. The perceived notion is that this is going to be too complicated for me. So I have to work backwards a little bit. So I'll do the actual activity and say, well, this is related to engineering. These are the materials that you will use to actually build your model. These are things that you probably encountered before. She gave you a whole bunch of household materials. What are you thinking? How is this going to help me make this? At my barbershop, they have a candy dispenser. And like usually it's glass, and then they have the metal part, and then the knob you turn, and it comes out. But we don't have all, like, all that material. The next step is that you need to brainstorm, freely think out what your ideas are for the particular solution. They had to figure out the options themselves. It wasn't already pre-selected things that they can just click, click, click. Because you have to be able to take what you know and do something with it. And that's where your creativity comes in. And have it like that. So it goes through and then comes out evenly. Yeah, but then we'd have to like cut a hole here. You know, the word creativity might be something that they want to shy away from, they might not identify with, but inside they actually do have the ability to do it. What if we had like the straw right here and then this could act as a lever and we could have a hole at the bottom? Project-based learning helps with engineering by allowing them to work in groups. They can actually get more ideas that way and develop appreciation for others. You have to troubleshoot and keep working at it until it works. We're thinking of the ideas like engineers do, and then sometimes we put the ideas together to make an invention of our own. These sticks, maybe they can turn. If you cut this in half, Feeling like they have creativity is essential because if they don't, then it's sort of like they'll, it'll always be on pause. My idea was you could tape it on there and then tape this under here and then this could be your lever. I haven't gone into material science. I haven't addressed troubleshooting yet, but I can talk about it now because they actually had the encounter. Think of how you can use all of these parts to be able to do that. We can use this as a lever and they'll come out. I guess I came up with like the invention part and then they innovated by adding stuff to it that'll make it work better. We have this bottom lever which unlocks the hole and then, and then, then the candy it back, and then, and then the there's candy in it. We're investing in the future and in order for us to continue to meet the needs that we have, we need to inspire by having experiences like we're doing today so we can continue to have a rich selection of individuals that can help our society.